The second interlude is set out to be worked on one centimeter graph paper, but you might wish to work with GeoGebra in with this activity. So if you open GeoGebra, you get a screen like this. We don't want algebra. We don't want all the points to be um, shown with letters and the um, equations of the lines done. So the first thing is to close the algebra window. Put your pointer up on that little cross and close the algebra window. Once you have done that, it will be useful to get the grid on. So left click on the grid at the top of the screen and then let's remove the axes. So click on that one. The next thing I want to do is organize the labeling. At the moment, every new point will have a letter A, B, C, D in order. If I press no new objects, then I will not get labels. I want to start by making a polygon. So let's make a simple square of area four. And we do that. And as soon as we get back to the beginning, then it closes the polygon, a four-sided in this case. Go for the arrow, left click on that polygon, and it says the, the quadrilateral is polygon A, B, C, D. Go for the object properties, and I can color that one in. Uh, we might make that one bright green. Make that one bright green, but I need it much stronger. So fill it into 100% and go back uh, off that and see what's happened. So my first four centimeter shape is there. If I go now to a polygon, I can add the next one onto it. And it might be possible to make a simple L shaped. And we need a one plus three. And there is the L shape. Go back to the arrow and I can left click on that one. And this is polygon E, F, G, H, C, B, object properties. The object properties, we could make that one red and uh, make it pretty uh, dense. Now all the points are shown at the moment on the corners, but if you click on that one, that disappears. So we can make all these points disappear just by clicking on them. And you can see them disappear as I do it. Uh, H. And that has removed all the points. If I want one of them back at any time, I can do that and it appears. So we go off the object properties, and we have now got two of the four centimeter, four square centimeter shapes. If I want to do another one, I might be interested in using a triangle as being half a rectangle. So if we make a rectangle on, on here, which is one, two, three, four by two. That rectangle is area eight. Now I could halve that rectangle, uh, for instance, by putting in this triangle. Whoops. And that triangle in there is now of area four. Base is two, the height along there is four, uh, two times four is eight and half it. If I click on that triangle, that polygon object properties, I can make that triangle of purple, make it very dense like that, 
I have done the wrong one. I need that one to be very faint. And somewhere I made a triangle. Ah, polypore. That one there, I'll make that one a, a different color, a pale blue, and make that very dense. So what we now have is that triangle inside the rectangle. But if we go back to the rectangle, I can go for basic and not show the object. If I do that, that one has disappeared. And of course I want to get rid of some of these points as well. Getting rid of that. It is possible now to look at that as the next one. But clicking again on there, uh, Object Properties, I might want to look at that last point there, M. Get rid of that. Now I can move that point there up to there. And all those, all those, that triangle will have the same area. I hope that might be enough to start you off.